Hey guys and welcome to my best clothing brands for petites video as someone who's only five feet tall and 100 pounds I felt like it was super important to make this video because it is so so hard to find clothing for petites And I really just wanted to make a video on YouTube That could be a nice resource and styling guide for anyone else who is in the same boat It is seriously a constant struggle to find clothes that have the right sleeve length the right inseam that the rips on my jeans actually hit at the knee and not somewhere weird on my shin. So in this video, I basically just wanted to share my favorite brands to shop from. They aren't necessarily brands that have like petite sizing, but they fit petites really well. I pulled some of my favorite pieces from all of these brands so I could show some examples of the pieces that I really like. The brands that I'm going to share are in no particular order of my favorite to least favorite, unless it's like kind of subconscious. The order that I chose them and I quickly just wanted to mention I'm not going to talk a lot about denim in this video because I did do an entire video about the best denim for petite so if you want to check that out I'll leave it in the cards here this video is going to be focused on everything else from coats to basics um, trendy pieces skirts things like that and if this is your first time watching one of my videos I'll quickly introduce myself my name is Marissa and I'm 22 years old I post a bunch of fashion and clothing hauls on my youtube channel and now that you found this video you know that all of the clothes that I share will specifically fit petites but I really just wanted to make my youtube channel a well-rounded representation of all of the things I love one namely being fashion but also sharing bits of my life as a social media marketing manager my favorite beauty products hair care all of that so I would love if you guys hit the subscribe button down below and you can also follow me on instagram at it's marissa underscore k for everyday elevated style inspiration I should quickly mention my size for reference so like I said I am five feet tall about 100 pounds and I usually wear a size extra small on top and my jeans are anywhere from like a 24 to 00, zero. so hopefully that helps when I'm talking about all of the places I like to shop from and the sizes that I get I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and let's get into the video so the first brand up in this video is going to be Zara I could not forget about my girl Zara I love shopping there so much mainly in store because their online website is just like what the heck but if you guys haven't shopped from Zara already they have all around great options anything from a staple to a really trendy piece and I feel like their prices are pretty affordable for what you're getting I do think that they're overall really good quality you can find a basics for quite affordable or a really nice coat that's going to be a little more expensive I don't have any jeans included from Zara they're really hit or miss for me like I find that the skinny jeans are always a little weird in the waist and hips but the wide leg and mom jeans are pretty good if you get like a size 32 to 34 and I think those are like European sizes, I'm not quite sure. And then as far as tops go, I'll share a couple different ones, but I usually get a size extra small from Zara, sometimes small if their tops only come in small, medium, large, because they do run on the smaller side anyways. And also their shoes do run quite small, especially their boots. They're nice and narrow around the calf if you have small legs. I have really tiny ankles, so it's great. Highly recommend shopping their boots and they're always so cute. So just a couple of my favorite pieces from Zara. They have like these really nice basics. I picked this one up over the summer. It's a size small, it's just this knitted crop top. I um, can't forget about my Zara sweaters. I absolutely love them. I have a bunch of their oversized sweaters. This one is a small as well, but since it's oversized, I can kind of wear it as like a sweater dress or just a really chunky sweater and it's so cozy. I have this in like two or three different colors. And then Zara for coats, absolutely love it. Um, the more I'm looking at this, I get a lot of Zara in size small apparently. I know I sized up in this crop denim jacket because I wanted it to be a little more oversized, but I've also bought some more, I guess, kind of formal or workwear appropriate pieces from there. I have this faux leather blazer and then also this camel belted coat that I picked up not too long ago. So those are just a few examples of my favorites from Zara. Like I said, they have an amazing selection of staple pieces to something that's a little more trendy like this jacket. I picked this one up two years ago before jackets were like all the craze 
this last fall and winter so they have some really great pieces and next up is Aritzia arguably also one of my favorite brands I mean all of these are my favorite brands but Aritzia is on a little more of the pricey side I go to them for staples basics pieces that I know I'm going to have in my closet for a long time or sometimes Aritzia just has really amazing um, I kind of call them like elevated basics. There's just something about them that's a little different and I think it's totally worth buying if your style is very like neutral and classic and you really just like to wear the same pieces over and over again. Almost all of my pieces from Aritzia are just nice little basics. I have a bunch of different tops to show you guys. Anything from a crop top to a bodysuit to some little tees. And then as far as sizing goes from Aritzia, they do go down to a 2XS. So sometimes I will buy the double extra small um, just if I want a piece to fit a little tighter, like this top here is also from Aritzia. But extra small fits totally fine. They're definitely on the slimmer side as it is. I also love their dresses. I have this basic dress from them and it has a little cutout on the back that I just think is so cute. I also picked up this cream colored romper over the summer and it also has a little tie open back on it. Like just little details like that I think really explain the kind of elevated basic that I love. And as far as pants go, I basically buy everything from Aritzia. Um, I picked up these faux leather pants. These are, I think, the Babaton label. And these are a size double zero. They fit amazing, well worth the price. And I also love Aritzia's loungewear. It's just such high quality. These are some of their TNA, just like classic leggings. And I got these in a double extra small. Now, one thing I haven't bought from Aritzia is their workwear. I know for a fact that it would fit really well. Um, my job is just super casual, so it isn't really a requirement for me to dress up for work, but if I did, I would totally go to Aritzia to get blouses or trousers or blazers, things like that. And then next up is a crowd favorite. H&M is another store that I just love to shop from. It never really fails me if I go to the mall and I know that I want to pick something up. I can usually always find something at H&M. Um, I just have a few pieces from them today. Over the summer, I picked up this faux leather jacket from them. I got this one in a double extra small and it fits great. Um, it was only like $50, so definitely a good find. And then just a few more pieces, you know, I just like to stop at H&M for some basics if I just need something to add to my closet a little bit. So I have like this graphic tee that I got in a small, so it was a little oversized. And then I also just have this basic sweater that I've been layering up for winter a ton. I personally don't love H&M's bottoms, like their denim I just don't feel like is the best quality, but it does fit quite small. I used to buy my denim shorts from there. I actually still have a pair that I've owned for like four years now. H&M denim is worth a try if you just want something really affordable, but if you're going for a nice quality denim I would probably look somewhere else honestly like Aritzia has really amazing quality denim they have a lot of different brands and I did include them in my petite denim video too so clothing store at number four is Princess Polly one of my favorite online retailers to shop from just when I want something that's so cute and trendy they have new arrivals just about every day so it is definitely like a black hole of shopping if you like to shop often. Princess Polly is just one of my favorite stores. They're cute, trendy, um, relatively affordable, especially if you can get a coupon. But I do just have some nice basics from them. I picked up this amazing houndstooth blazer. This one was in a size zero and I do usually get size zero from Princess Polly. Two fits okay, but sometimes um, just a little bit too big, especially if it's a bottom. Um, I have a lot of nice basics from Princess Polly too, like this cropped um, sweater, have a couple more crop tops. You guys can tell I have an obsession with crop tops, that's like really all I wear. Um, this little thermal, super super cute, and I recently got this um, twist front top that I also love. And I did just want to point out Princess Polly bottoms fit amazing as well. I recently discovered their denim and I definitely need to get some more pairs from them because these are a size zero. They're like these wide leg jeans. I think I showed them in a previous haul and I wear them just about every week. They're all over my Instagram feed 
and I also have this faux leather skirt from them. This is size extra extra small. I've had this for about two years and it's just like one of those staple doesn't fail you pieces. If you guys want something really affordable, Boohoo is one of my favorite online retailers. They do have a petite collection on their website and the petite I've shown from a couple times. I've gotten a few pieces from it and it's honestly almost too small for me. I do have quite broad shoulders so usually that's a problem if um, the piece is a little too small but if you are slender I do recommend trying them out for sure um, but as far as like their regular extra small goes it usually always fits great so here's just a couple examples of some pieces I've gotten from them um, I recently discovered that their sweaters are actually amazing quality and they just have fun little pieces like this leather jacket that I got. I just pick up a lot of pieces when I want a little closet refresh but don't want to spend a lot of money. So I have like another cute little crop top. This knitted top is just a nice basic. And then this top I got like during I think either summer or fall. I just thought it was really trendy and fun. Um, I usually always go for an extra small on their website or I think it's a size two because they're really big in the uk so their sizes might be a little bit different so those are just a few of my favorites they also have amazing dresses and going out pieces i forgot to include some of them on this clothing rack but i do have quite a few pieces like that if you know minus covid if you're going out for fun or on a vacation and you just want some nice like party going out wear and don't want to spend a lot of money definitely check out boohoo and then the last brand i don't have a ton to share from but it used to be a brand that i shopped from a ton in the past and that's abercrombie and fitch you know i just haven't gone to their store as often as i used to but i have seen them step up their game they do have some really cute stuff um, I did include their denim in my petite denim video. They offer um, short lengths in their jeans and like dresses and rompers, which I think is really, really nice. So I got their jeans in a double zero short and they fit amazing. They are actually ankle length. They have this nice little distressing at the bottom and on the knees. Um, and I have bought jumpsuits and dresses from them in short and there is a noticeable difference in like the torso length and the inseam. So well worth checking out. And um, Abercrombie does just have nice little kind of basics as well. I used to be obsessed with like lace camis and bodysuits. I went through a phase of loving them and I got all of them from Abercrombie. So those are just some of my favorites from there. And you know what guys, that is everything that I have for my petite clothing haul that went by way quicker than I thought it was going to. I thought I was gonna be rambling on forever about these. I hope you guys found this video informative. Let me know if there's any other brands that you guys really like to shop from that I didn't include. Um, I'm trying to think of if there's any other stores that I do shop from sometimes that I didn't include. Nordstrom is hit and miss with their like extra extra small. I do find a lot of stuff from made well that fits well but it's just not really my style they're a little more I feel like preppy and classic like these jeans that I have on are actually from made well and I think these are a size 24 short I do also like to shop from free people they are another favorite but they're also kind of hit and miss on the sizing anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're still watching thank you so much for watching until the end let me know if you want to see any other petite fashion videos from me in the future I'd love to do some more hauls or like styling guides something like that i'm kind of trying to think as we get into spring and summer what type of petite fashion videos i can do i might try and do something around like shorts or skirts or dresses things that are more popular during those seasons but yeah that is everything that i have for you guys today let me know if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below i try and respond to every single comment i get and i hope to see you in my next video bye